Hello guys, this is Defer here, and I'm here for something that's not Sonic World related for once. So there's this fan game called Sonic Journey that not only has backwards compatibility with Blitz stages, but it also lets you make your own with the actual stage creator here using Unity, which is a lot more powerful than the Blitz stage creator. But no one really uses it because it's not really public how. And this game's kind of obscure itself. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it, like make a stage. I'm like, no, I have no script for this. And this is a little loud. I'll probably dub over this. An example I did here is Seaside Hill, but I'll be doing a different stage for the actual thing. This was a really bare bones import. It has objects. It has death planes. And it has ways to traverse, so pick up the basics. Oh god, I can't reach that far. Gonna have to This is why you test your things before you put do them. It's heavily based on the adventure engine, so... I honestly recommend it for its physics alone, and the fact that it's backwards compatible to with Blitz stages. So you can play Sonic World stages on this if you want, or you can make your own, without the buddy mathing and everything. The presentation of this game is not that great yet, because he's focusing... He's the guy that created it, Yakker, is focusing on physics first. So I'm gonna try and get a raw mesh and a some objects just so you guys know how to place them. First things first, I have a link in the description for the documentation of the level kit you'll need. You'll also need the specific version of Unity that is listed in the thing. It Right now it's 2018.2.8. You're gonna need it because other u versions of Unity will not work. The level development kit is in a zip file in a mega link, and once you download that, extract the zip to wherever you want. I'm assuming that you guys have basic knowledge on how a file structure works, so I don't have to explain how to unzip a package. So next up, you need to go to uh, Unity, and once you have the version downloaded, I'm using Unity Hub, you need to make a project, make it 3D, put it anywhere, remember it, what it is, and create. So it's gonna create a project there. So I'm just gonna go on a file explorer. So what I'm gonna do this time is take something from another project I was gonna do, uh, Spiral Mountain. This is a rip from Smash Ultimate. If you're looking for a stage to rip, the model's resource has plenty of stages you could potentially use. I'm just gonna copy and paste it into the game's assets folder. So that's just going on there. It already has materials because I used it in another Unity scene before, so that setup is kind of skipped. Although I don't know much about Unity myself, uh, you still need some basic knowledge just to tweak up the materials in a tad. I will tell you everything that's specific to Sonic Journey, so don't worry. This was the previous thing I was working on, Seaside Hill. I'll just X out of this one for now. And I'll cut back when I am ready and this is loaded up. It is now loaded. This is just a default scene right now. So since we don't need the camera, I'm going to delete that. And we are going to need to import the package, which was the level development kit, wherever you saved and extracted it. I saved and extracted it right on the main game's directory, which you obviously need to. 
just note, since this isn't like bumper engine or everything, where you just have an open source engine, you cannot test this in editor. Uh, hold on. You do not You need to untick anything here. Everything is kind of useful. So the method used here, actually, I'll explain that in a moment. I don't have a skybox for this stage, so I'm gonna have to make a makeshift one just for the sake of it. Makeshift. Yeah, I do. Uh, this is only the bare basics. There's more information on stuff like splines in one the documentation on GitHub that is what I showed earlier. So right now it's just loading everything in. So those are the shaders that you can use. Although it supports all of Unity's standard shaders as well. So everything that Unity is built with, which are gonna be what I'm using for most of these. So since I ripped this from Smash Ultimate, it might actually look kinda nice cause it's PBR. But before that, we need to change a setting in the project settings you go to project settings you go to the player tab because you need to change the rendering color space from gamma to linear because that's what the actual game uses so it will not work if you don't do that next up I gotta select all of the individual pieces Actually, did I pre-make a prefab? I did. So, I'm gonna drag the stage in. So, in terms of scaling, Sonic's roughly the scale of a Unity Sphere at, like, normal height. So I'm gonna have to use that in order to get correct proportions. Where does that go? Hold on. I'm gonna set this to one so I have a default scale in place. Then just add a sphere. And it's, as you can see, it's way, the stage is way too small. So I'm going to set that to, let me see, four. Oh crap, that was the wrong place because I only did the mountain there. Make sure you do the scale everything equally. I'm gonna get this out here because that was an error. One, one, and one. So. I want it to be traversable with Sonic easily without falling off, so it's probably can do with an extra bit of scaling, no matter if it's inaccurate or not. So I think that's safe. So Sonic will not be that sphere in the actual game. You need to create an empty object. So I'm going to go over here, I'm gonna create empty, and that how does it know it's Sonic? It is given a specific name. I'm gonna do player spawn zero. Let me double check if that's right. If you go to the miscellaneous section of the current documentation, it says what to name them. It can go from zero to 32 since this supports online connection through peer to peer. So that's that seems about right. It may be floating a bit. So as of now, I think, even though it's very bare bones, I'm going to save it right now, just to make sure it works. Except I won't, because I nearly forgot something. Every single bit of collision that you want to have a... Okay, everything has a collider here, and everything has a renderer. But for everything that has a collider, you should add a culling group. This is see, given in the documentation and I don't know what happens if you don't do it but I think it's better off we have a working 
game and don't accidentally crash it. So we go here, select here, add component, calling group, which house, add component, calling group, add component, calling group. If you're wondering where I got this, by the way, I ripped it myself, so... I'm not gonna give the download to this exactly, but I will give the download to the exported stage, like the one that's already encrypted and everything, once it's ready. So after that, I'm gonna save a scene. This is very important. And whatever you save it as, I think it is automatically saved in scene, sample scene. And then, scene, sample scene, so you get the scene there, only label the scene. You go here, wherever the inspector is, you go to asset bundle, create a new one, give it a name. Remember the name anyways. After that, you go create, build culling groups first, which is from the culling groups you made earlier, and then build asset bundles. This usually takes a while. So, in a small thing like this, it should only take a minute or two. And the finished result will be in your project folder. And it will be in assets and asset bundles. It's building right now. So whatever name it is, you're gonna probably have to rename it, unless you just renamed it stage, then you don't need to rename it. I'm just calling it Spiral Mountain so I remember which is which. Building right now. Build player sample scene. While this is going on, the next, I'm just going to skip to the next step quickly. So you're going to have to put the stage into Sonic Journey itself. So next you create a new folder. As you see in the background, it got built right there. So I'm going to name this Spiral Mountain. I'm gonna give it a few files right now that I'm gonna share. So you can give it a music file called music.org and it needs a stage.ini, which is a plain text. Hold on, let me put this here. So that means the music is just gonna be Seaside Hill. If you can convert it to the music.org just by going to Audacity and exporting as AUG. So I'm gonna change the metadata here to Notepad spiral mountain these like rank things is just the amount of like time you need before you get a rank and then ring time is just the amount of rings and how they impact the time for description i'll just say tutorial stage and save that so then you go to the asset bundles folder take the asset bundle of the name you've chosen paste that in and then rename it to stage. It has no ending on it. That's pretty important. It should not have an extension at the end. So then you launch up Sonic Journey, which I am going to do now. As you see, it had the metadata in there, so if I go in... Sonic is in Spiral Mountain. Because I imported him and he went right into player spawn condition. And the stage looks basically the same as it did in the Unity scene. Although since I didn't change any colliders yet, a lot of things have collision that don't need it. And also Seaside Hill music, we can ignore that though. So that is the first step so far. So I'm probably going to split this into parts. So the next part will be about making the skybox and placing objects. 
I thank you all for watching this, and I hope this does enlighten you about the topic and maybe spark interest. So, I'll see you in the next part.